Hi everybody, welcome back, welcome back. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with Plotly Dash using Jupyter Lab 3 and Jupyter Notebook. This is based on the Plotly uh, webpage, this one, getting started with Plotly. And we're going to focus on these two um, sections, Jupyter Lab support and Jupyter Notebook support. So I'm going to show you how to install and create a virtual environment, install Jupyter Lab or Jupyter Notebook, and then create these, um, give you this code for these beautiful apps that you can um, plug into Jupyter to make sure that you did everything correctly. Um, to get started, I highly recommend using this document that I, I created for you, this guide. Um, we're going to use this throughout the video. This is going to be under the video in the description part. I put it on Google Drive, so just download it so you can have it for yourself. So even if you want to do this again um, two weeks from now or a month from now, you'll have this guide and you ha don't have to watch the whole video over and over again. All right, so let's get started. We're going to um, do, I'm going to close all this and do this all over again because I was just practicing to make sure that I did this correctly. All right. All right, so the first step is um, Plotly with Jupyter Lab. This is going to um, install Jupyter Lab and Dash and Plotly. Uh, using a Windows command prompt. If you want to use uh, a Mac or Linux, um, I have here from this website, I just copy pasted the information that they give on how to do it. So it's, it's similar, but you can follow along with this third page on my document here. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is open the command prompt if you're on Windows or the terminal if you're on a Mac. So let's open command prompt like that. And now you want to CD or go into the, your main directory, where you want your project to be located, where you want to create your project and your app. So I'm going to create it inside my Heroku folder, dash, YouTube, and then other inside of here. And then I'm going to make a new folder. So I'm going to do MKDIR and then the folder name, mkdir, and the folder name, we'll call it jupe lab3, because that's what we're going to install. And let's see here that it works. If you go into other, you'll see jupe lab3. So I just created this folder. Now it's empty. But what I want to do next is go into that folder on your command prompt. Don't forget to do that. CD jupe, go into the folder you could just create it. And now that you're inside of it, you want to create your virtual environment. This is how you create your virtual environment in Windows. And here below on page three, it will show you how to create a virtual environment with, um, with, uh, with, uh, on a Mac. So it's pi-mvnv and then the environment name. So the environment name, I'm going to call this, let's call it uh, my ENV. This is going to be the name of my environment. This takes about a minute to complete on the computer. My computer is um, has 16 gigabyte RAM, so it's not too fast, but not too slow. If you go to the folder here, you'll see that this was just created my ENV. All right. So now that you created your virtual environment, you want to activate it. Before you install all the necessary libraries, um, into the virtual environment, you have to activate the virtual environment. And this is how you activate it. This is the code, uh, the writing, like that. But instead of environment name, you got to put the, envi the environment name. So that is my ENV. Remember from the one right here, my ENV. Enter. And you can see here in parentheses that this environment was activated. This is a sign that the environment was activated. Now we can go ahead and install the libraries I need to install. So the first library we're going to install is pandas because you will usually need it for plotly and dash data manipulation. While it's installing pandas, let me share with you that um, the virtual environment is very important so you can 
uh, maintain certain versions of libraries that you install. So then your apps that you build work in the future, a year down the road or two years down the road when you're, when you're updating your libraries um, or when you, change, uh, when you change things. So that's the whole idea of a virtual, virtual environment. It keeps everything in, in uh, all the versions intact. So you have the same version uh, for as long as you want. And if you want new versions of new libraries, you can create a new virtual environment and then create their uh, install inside that new virtual environment um, uh, updated libraries or updated versions. All right, so we install pandas. Now let's pip install plotly. 5.0, which is the latest version. Um, usually, this is an important note. Usually when you pip install dash right here, um, or the latest version of dash, which is 1.20, you can see here from this uh, website, pipi.org, 1.20 is the latest version. Usually when you install the latest version of dash, you will get the latest version of Plotly, usually, but not always. And in this case, uh, they're not they're not aligned. When I, if I install the latest version of Dash, I will get Plotly 4. Point something, and I don't want that. I want the latest version of Plotly. That's why I installed Plotly version 5.0.0. If you don't care what Plotly version you have, just pip install Dash, and it will come with Plotly. Okay, so it's installing the the Plotly package. Um, after it installs the Plotly package, we will pip install dash 1.20. You don't have to say 1.20 um, because this is the latest version. And if you just say pip install dash, this will install the latest version, which is this. So usually you want to put a different version if, uh, or you want to um, mention the version that you want to put if it's different than the latest one. So you see the latest version here is 1.20. But if you want Plotly or Dash 1.19 for some reason, then you would just say 1.19. Oops. And that's what you would install. So in this case, we can just do pip install dash or pip install 120. It's exactly the same. Let me pause this. Perfect. So this took about five minutes. Now we're going to install dash oops i forgot to put pip install pip install and this should take another about three minutes or so depending on the speed of your computer again minus uh, minus 16 gigabyte ram and i don't know it's not that fast <laughs> but it's, it's not slow either all right let me uh, after you do uh, after you install dash then you have to install Jupyter Lab, and here I'm installing Jupyter Lab three or higher with the IP widgets like that. Copy. Still running. Done. Oh, this took about only two minutes. Pip install Jupyter Lab. After we install Jupyter Lab, then we can actually run the app and um, well run Jupyter Lab and then um, write our code and run any type of Plotly or Dash app within Jupyter Lab. Perfect. So that's done. Took about two minutes. Uh, before we start, let's do pip list. This will allow you to check the full set of libraries that we just installed. So look at pip list. And you can see here that we have um, Plotly 5.0. You see that we have uh, Jupyter Lab 3. Where is Jupyter Lab here? Jupyter, why am I missing it? Jupyter Core 4.7, Jupyter Lab 3.016, and we also have Dash 1.20. So we have the libraries that we wanted to install. And now, we have to run Jupyter Lab. We have to act, um, open it. So go here and just write Jupyter Lab. That's it. Now remember, for this to run, you have to have your environment activated. So if you close the command prompt, make sure to open the command prompt or open the terminal on your Mac, go and activate your environment, and only then run Jupyter Lab or Jupyter Notebook because 
this uh, program is installed within that virtual environment. Okay, so now that we have it, let me copy paste a few a few um, apps that I created for you that's also going to be on my GitHub. I'm going to put this here. This is from here. These are the two. All right. So I, I'll put this code on GitHub so you have it as well and you can test it at home. And we're going to have two different um, apps. This app is just a regular heat map that I'm creating with Plotly uh, and Pandas using um, some data on my on my GitHub. So you just plug this into your computer and run it and it should work for you as well. You should get this uh, heat map that will uh, load in about two seconds. There you go, right here. All right. Now let's try another one. Let's close this one. card and let's open this app shift enter or control enter and you should get make sure to use debug false in Jupyter lab sometimes debug true does not work um, you can do debug true in PyCharm and Atom if it's a Python file but if it's a Jupyter file sometimes true doesn't work so make sure it's false click on the link here and this is the app that um, that I created a few tutorials ago, a few um, months ago. And as you can see here, it's interactive as you move the mouse. Um, the, the pie chart also moves um, according to the years that you choose, right? Cool. So this is how you create the uh, Jupyter Lab and install Jupyter Lab. A few uh, bonus points. Actually, even, even before the bonus points, to do the same thing if you prefer to install Jupyter Notebook because you have experience with Jupyter Notebook, um, you prefer Jupyter Notebook, you don't like Jupyter Lab, it's too it's too big, it's too comprehensive, you don't need it, then it's very much the same. The whole process here is almost exactly the same as this process. The only difference is that um, you this one right here. This is the only difference. So instead of installing Jupyter Lab, you will install uh, the notebook. Okay. So all this, go back to minute one in the video, is exactly the same as all this. All right. I didn't do anything different. And then all you have to do, do a new directory. Don't install it in the same environment. Don't install it in the same directory. Create a new directory if you prefer to do with Jupyter Notebook and just install this in a new directory in a new virtual environment and install the notebook instead of Jupyter Lab. And then to initiate the notebook instead of Jupyter Lab, you have to type Jupyter Notebook right here. So right here, instead of typing Jupyter Lab to initiate the, the Jupyter Lab, you will actually type Jupyter Notebook. And that's it. Then you will get here, you will get a Jupyter Notebook instead of the Jupyter Lab 3. A few bonus points um, that I would like to share with you, I'm excited to share with you, is that you can save in Jupyter Lab, you can save your IPYM notebook uh, files as a Python file. So if, for example, you prefer working with Jupyter Lab, right? Um, but you have to show your result or your code to engineers that usually prefer to work with um, PyCharm or Visual Studios or .py files. All you have to do is go to your dash app. You see how it ends in IPYNB. Go to file, export notebook as executable script and this will save it let's go to download this will save it as as a dot pi file showing folder you see here that this is a dot pi file so if you open it let's open it with um, well I won't open it now but you can open it with with PyCharm, you can open it with Atom or Visual Studios or a simple notepad. Just open it and you'll see that, that it will it will work. Um, the last bonus point that I wanted to share with you is this. This is a really really cool article in Taurus Data Science. Let me click on it so you can see it. 
And in this article, it will teach you about awesome extensions that um, Jupyter Lab has. So there's extension um, on um, Jupyter Lab with GitHub. There's an extension with uh, Jupyter Lab and, and Google Drive, and a few other extensions that are pretty pretty neat. Um, so I would recommend going in there, taking a look at it, and and expanding on your Jupyter Lab uh, knowledge. That's really it. I hope you learned a lot. I hope this is, video will help you set up um, Dash Plotly within Jupyter Lab or within Jupyter Notebook, whatever you prefer. Um, if you enjoy this, if you benefited from this video, uh, go ahead and join my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, um, uh, go ahead and, and um, uh, become a member if you'd like. I really appreciate it. Become a member of YouTube. Become a member of my patreon.com. This is a way of, of supporting what I do and, um, and uh, the education that I provide as, as a YouTube um, content creator. Thank you very much for considering. Thank you very much for watching my video. And as always, um, never give up. Keep practicing. Uh, we're better together, so always help each other out. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.